Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, I've got a quick update for you about Citra Enhanced, the fork of the 3DS emulator Citra. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, a little while back we talked about Citra Enhanced, and I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. Feel free to check it out to possibly learn a bit more information about it. At a really high level here, Citra Enhanced is basically an alternative to the Google Play Store version of Citra. It is open source, it's ad free, and it should work relatively all right. There's another version that's an alternative that's a little bit more popular called Citra MMJ, which I also discuss in this video, so feel free to check it out. Anyways, today we got some pretty bad news. It looks like Citra Enhanced might already be dead. The creator of Citra Enhanced posted this in Discord. I'm sorry to say that Citra Enhanced has been detained one to two weeks. I really want to continue the project, but unfortunately for some reason my phone has stopped working and I will not be able to continue with the development of Citra if I cannot fix it. An apology. Now I've had to re-record this video because the initial announcement was a little bit more vague and I did have to ask for some more details as to what exactly was going on. The initial message was just that the emulator was detained. And I was wondering if it was a legal thing, if there was something going on here, but it turned out it was just the phone issue. Now, fortunately here, the GitHub page is still alive and well, and if you wanted to check out the emulator, you absolutely can. It's still technically not outdated just yet. Now, I've seen both positive and negative reactions to Citra Enhanced. It seems to be a little bit polarizing here. While I don't personally use Citra Enhanced, I definitely don't wish ill will against the creator of it. In my opinion here, I think Citra Enhanced is relatively innocent. It's not necessarily doing anything inherently wrong here. It's free and it's open source. It's just an alternative to Citra. To further prove my point here, if we go to the official GitHub page for Citra Enhanced, if I scroll down to the very bottom here, there is a link to a donations page. If I click on it, it brings me to the actual Citra project. Now, if you know me, I'm all for growing and supporting the community. And when I see an aspiring developer or an established developer take a crack at creating their own open source fork from an open source program, I really don't see an issue with that. If they're adding their own flavor in or something, by all means, let them do it. Unless I'm missing something here. It's not like the developer is taking the open source code, making it closed source, injecting ads into it, and trying to sell it on the Google Play Store like some other apps out there. But anyways, that is all I've got for this one. Hopefully the developer of Citra Enhanced gets their phone up and running and development can continue here. Let me know your thoughts about Citra Enhanced in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts about Citra MMJ in the comments below. And let me know your thoughts about the standalone version of Citra on the Google Play Store in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.